Hi, I'm WABE contributor Mike Jordan. And I'm Sammy Purcell with In Town Atlanta. And this is How Do You Atlanta? Let's take a look at what we've got going on in the city this week. What do you got first for us, Mike? All right, so Taste Urban. It's a tasting event for black-owned food and beverage businesses. So the key here is that it's not just restaurants and bars, but it's all sorts of independent black caterers, bakers, uh, brands that make all types of beer, alcohol, and wine, um, and also just independent producers of spirits. So it's a great, great place to go and taste things, and also for anyone who may not be a member of the African-American community to come and find places to support and to get something for your taste buds in exchange. I highly recommend it. Um, this is December 14th. It's going to be at the Foundry at Purity. And mill and tickets are available at tasteurban.com. Up next, we've got Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer at the Center for Puppetry Arts. It's going on through December 31st. So, if you've ever been to the Center for Puppetry Arts, if you've never been, I should say, it's a lot of fun. I used to go there on a ton of elementary school field trips. Always a bunch of fun for the kids. And Rudolph is like the perfect holiday theme show to take your kids to during December. It's based on the classic television um, adapted special by John Ludwig. You all know the stop motion. It's iconic. Um, and tickets cost $30 and that gets you the show. It gets you access to the World's of Puppetry Museum, which is pretty cool. And then you also get the chance to create a puppet yourself in a little workshop, which is a lot of fun. Keeps your kids busy, which is all you can ask for, right? So again, that's Rudolph at the Center for Puppetry Arts, and that lasts through December 31st. Well, up next, I have uh, Christmas with the ASO. So everyone, of course, who is into a classical sort of Christmas will dig this because it's those melodies and those harmonies and all of those great sounds from your favorite hol holiday carols, the hymns, and it's going to be performed by our very own Atlanta Symphony Orchestra, which we all love. Um, Vocal is going to be by the ASO's chorus. Also a tenor named Timothy Miller, who's very, very good. And then the Spivey Hall Children's Choir, which, of course, when the children sing, we're so happy we want to buy them more uh, toys and Legos and things like that. So go see the children sing. Go look Listen to the ASO, and that's going to be coming together for all of this holiday cheer on the 15th of December uh, through the 18th, and that's going to be at the Atlanta Symphony Orchestra. Tickets are at ASO.org. All right, up next, we're going to get away from the holidays for a little bit. So on December on December 17th at the Fox Theater, we've got an evening of conversation and song with Jason Isbell and Will Welch, who's the GQ Magazine uh, Global Editorial Director. So he's going to be interviewing Jason Isbell as a singer-songwriter, super popular. The two are going to talk about the evolving state of music and friendship. So I think it'll be a really interesting night. I'm a huge Jason Isbell fan. He's really talented and a really interesting and thoughtful guy like he's like dabbled in acting or he's going to I think he's going to be in like the new Martin Scorsese movie which is pretty cool um, I think this is going to be a very cool opportunity if you're into him or if you're just looking for something interesting to do during the holidays so again that's an evening of conversation with Jason Isbell and Will, Wel Will Welch at the Fox on December 17th okay so I have one more and this is Yacht Rock Review's Holiday Spectacular yes. Uh, and these are handsome gentlemen, as we know the Yacht Rock <laughs> Review uh, guys to be. They're very smooth, they're very retro, and they're going to be performing at this annual show where they do holiday songs, but in those beautiful soft rock versions. Mm -hmm. So, you know, definitely the Duran Duran vibes, <laughs> the Michael McDonald vibes, mm -hmm. you know, the Wham vibes. And I mean, even if those people don't have Christmas songs, which many of them do sure. or they should, they're going to give you that kind of energy of your favorite holiday song. So look for a lot of like really deep, like throat <laughs> kind of like, you know, not not really diaphragm, but a lot of throaty kind of like blue eyed yeah. soul. But uh, I love those guys. They're going to do it 1980 style. It's going to be December 17th at Coca-Cola Roxy. And the tickets are at batteryatl.com. That's awesome. All right, next for me, we've got the Secret Garden musical at the Jenny T. Anderson Theater in Marietta on December 17th and 18th. So everyone knows the Secret Garden classic of Children's Lay. I read it as a kid. I'm sure a lot of y'all did. But what could make a Secret Garden better but music? And it's great. The original Broadway cast has Mandy Patinkin, and he, he sadly won't be in this one, but the cast is going to be amazing. Um, it's the, music, uh, the music is composed by Lucy Simon, and it's from playwright Marsha Norman. Um, I've never actually seen the musical myself, but I've listened to the soundtrack a lot or the original Broadway recording, and I'm hoping to get out there too and see it, but everyone should go. So again, that's The Secret Garden at the Jenny T. Anderson Theater in Marietta, and that's December 17th through 18th. All right, well, that's what we have to look forward to this week. For more on these and other events, you can check out HowDoYouAtlanta.com.
W-A-B-E.